What is up guys, welcome back to Dan's Reviews, and today I'm back for another Walking Dead video for today. This one is going to be doing my weekly review for this week's episode of The Walking Dead Season 9. This is the second episode now for the second half of The Walking Dead Season 9, Omega. So, uh, this is episode 10 of The Walking Dead Season 9. Uh, thoughts on this episode for me? I really like this episode. I, I think this is a good episode. Um, I think that... You know, I think the mid-season premiere, it's its a tough, it's honestly tough to say which one I like more. But um, definitely, if I had to say the best part of the episode, I mean, I think the ending. Now, um, before I get into anything, I just want to say spoiler warning if you haven't seen the new episode of Walking Dead last night. Um, it was a really good episode, uh, in my opinion. I'm hearing uh, mixed opinions about this episode. From what I'm hearing, it sounds like people like the mid-season premiere better, but I did like this episode. Uh, I thought it was a really good episode. Um, you know, most of it uh, was, you know, stuff with Henry and uh, Lydia. Now, I did think uh, we would see a little bit more of uh, the scene with Alpha at the hilltop at the end. Um, I thought they would give us maybe a little bit more, so I found myself a little disappointed at the end. But, I mean, I can't complain too much because... Um, you know, they they want people to come back for next week's episode to see Alpha talk to Daryl. So that for me is really exciting and I cannot wait to see next week's episode. But I was really upset that they cut that at the very last, just at that very last part where you see Alpha and then it kind of, it goes black or whatever. Um, that was a super big disappointment for me, but, um, I can't, I can't judge it too much because that makes episode 11 that much more exciting, um, to see just the rest of that conversation and what they're gonna do. Um, so, uh, if you guys haven't seen the promo for episode 11, I don't know what's been going on lately with AMC, they're not uploading their promos, um, I will put the link in the description for the promo for episode 11 so you guys can go ahead and check that out because I'm just, I'm not even sure at this point why they're not putting the uh, the promos on a, the AMC channel. Uh, it, it's kind of stupid, like, they, it's, it's a whole process at this point, but... Okay, so basically we start off the episode with the flashback of, uh, you know, you know, Alpha and Lydia. So, basically we get to see that and, you know, I... I was kind of thinking around this time, like, okay, they're probably going to have the father be the bad one. Um, that's not the case. So, basically, when it comes to these flashbacks, just to kind of summarize them, because I didn't care for them too much. I mean, they were good, but they weren't amazing or anything like that. Uh, basically, the, 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 the gist of what happens here, uh, basically, it's day 23, um, of the zombie apocalypse is what it seems like. We have Alpha, who is, you know, kind of, you know, you know, trying to protect her daughter type of thing. Uh, and they make it seem like the dad is the bad one. And, of course, uh, that quickly changes when you see Alpha kill this guy. Uh, and, uh, I mean, just this random guy or whatever that's uh, being too loud. And she's like, shh, you know. Um, and so we know where she gets that from now, too. And, basically, we get to find out throughout these uh, flashbacks. And it, the ending is really crazy, too, where, basically, she ends up killing her husband, uh, which was insane. So, um, you know, Lydia you know, was told by Alpha a different story since she was so young that Alpha thought maybe she wouldn't remember this, but, you know, Alpha is, uh, you know, that doesn't realize that, L you know, Lydia does know what happened. You know, Lydia kind of figures out that she probably did kill uh, her father and, you know, her mom is crazy, you know, and, you know, it, it, that, that whole thing. So, um, it, the, Lydia is basically explaining these flashbacks to Henry and Daryl throughout the episode, and I, I do like, uh, you know, everything they did there. Um, the flashbacks were good uh, when they used it, but I feel like um, it, it, it was good, you know, for the most part, but it definitely wasn't, like, amazing or anything. But I did like it because then you see Alpha there, and you see her at the end of the episode and how much she's changed. And it's like, wow, that, yeah, she's really, uh, you know, she's gone through a lot, you could tell. So... I like that whole thing. So, so the flashbacks were good. Then we have, of course, the stuff with Alpha at the, uh, you know, at the hilltop at the end, which I will get into, but I do want to talk about a few other things as well in this episode. So we get to see Daryl, uh, basically try to, um, you know, help Lydia almost, uh, you know, and uh, I really like too where, you know, he tries to give her the, um, you know, the stuff for, you know, her ear or whatever. And he's just like, fine, <laughs> fine. So uh, yeah, I like that. Yeah. Cause he's just like, fine, you don't, you don't, you don't want to take it, whatever then. Um, so yeah, I like that stuff too. And she kind of knocks the water or whatever the first time then the second time she finally you know drinks the water um 
so Daryl is, you know, he, he doesn't, I mean, he doesn't care for Lydia, you know, like, I don't, I don't think he, like, I, it's tough, because he knows what she go, uh, goes through, you know, she, he sees the scars on her arm, and he's just like, man, she's gone through a lot, you know, she has gone through a lot, and Daryl went through that as a kid, too, you know, his, uh, his uh, father uh, beating him, so, um, that right there for me was good, that was great development, because I really like how Daryl kind of, um, he, he kind of, I, I feel like in this episode, Daryl really, uh, you know, he, he feels for, you know, what she's going through, he feels bad that she's going through it, because he went through it, uh, himself, but the, the twist is, is that it's, it's, it's Alpha that's the bad one, it's not her father, which I thought, honestly, that's what I thought, when I originally, when these flashbacks first started, I was like, okay, you know, Alpha probably was forced to kill her husband because of what he was doing. She, you know, cut her hair so he couldn't grab her hair like that. So, you know, I mean, and the same reason why Carol may maybe did it too, you know. So, um, I don't know. It, it, it's in it's interesting for sure. But um, we, we basically find out throughout these flashbacks at the end that it's actually Alpha that's the bad one, really. Um, her father is not bad at all, you know, and it, that's, that's really what it comes down to. So I like that. I think that was good. And, um, yeah, I, I like all the flashback stuff. I like all the stuff with Daryl, um, and Lydia. Now, of course, the, another big part too is when Henry lets her out and gets to, you know, she gets to see the hilltop and she goes for the hammer too, which I really liked. I, I was, I was, you know, uh, it was a little intense when she was going for the hammer there a little bit. Um, she sees the baby, and I really like how she's just like, get me, get me back inside, get me back inside now, you know? Uh, and she's terrified. She's terrified of her mom. So, uh, that, you, you know, that's pretty sad. That's, that's, yeah, that's crazy. So, um, of course, you know, they, they lock her back in, and she asks Henry if she can, uh, you know, if, if he can stay with her, uh, for the night. So he does. And her and, uh, you know, the three of them, you know, Daryl comes in, and he's just like, you know, I spent the night here or whatever. And I really like it because it's like, Next episode, they're probably going to give Lydia over, but will you know Henry and Daryl don't want to, but they're the only ones that that don't want to give her up. The rest, they're probably like, yeah, sure, sure. If it's gonna get our people back, if if, if you're gonna get us Alden and Luke back, we're giving her away. So I have a feeling that Daryl and Henry, they're gonna do something. I feel like. Henry might go after Lydia after, uh, you know, after they, after Alpha is uh, giving her daughter back and they leave the hilltop, I feel like Henry's going to go after her, you know, um, and I feel like Daryl's going to have to go out there and try to find Henry. So I, I feel like this is all shaping up. It's, it's really exciting. I really like it. And, uh, you know, it's cool. It's really, really cool. So then we also have Magnus group in this episode, which, uh, they're looking for Luke, of course. And, uh, you know, they, uh, they want to know if he's dead or alive or just whatever, uh, you know, it's, yeah, they, they, they want to know, basically, so they're looking for him, and they haven't find, uh, found anything yet, but I think they're about to find them next episode, so, um, basically, we have the continuation of the flashbacks, we have, uh, you know, just some quick scenes with, you know, dialogue between characters, but mainly, that's, that, that's the basic, uh, you know, that's a basic, you know, description of the episode, so, um, of course, the ending, so, Daryl, um, I really like when they're all on top of the, uh, the deck or whatever, just that, 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 like, watch point or whatever, and you have, uh, you know, Tara who sees them, and I really like, too, how Kelly, like, she, she hides or whatever, and then you you know, everybody just gets inside, and they're all hiding, and they all just scatter, basically, and you have about, I would say what is about 30 or 40 whispers that come up with Alpha, and Alpha just, you know, she, she pushes her way through, and, um, she's just like, I am Alpha, and I want one thing from you, my daughter, and then it, it, it cuts at that point, so, um, I like how this went, I, I really enjoyed this episode, um, a lot of people, they say it was slow, it was really boring, a lot of, a lot of people don't like it, the ending was good, but the rest was terrible, I, a lot of these kind of comments, um, I can understand that, I guess, but I like the episode, I like the stuff with Daryl, I like the flash and just the way they turned out. Um, I like the way those flashbacks were handled. Um, and I, I really like everything with Lydia. I really like the Henry stuff. I really like Daryl and, you know, him and, you know, him relating to, you know, what Lydia is going through because he went through it himself with his, you know, with his father. This time it's Lydia's, you know, mom instead of, you know, his, you know, her father. Um, and, we, you know, like I said, we find out that her father was not exactly that bad. It's more so Alpha that's kind of, you know, uh, you know, it, it's, it's so bad that she's, you know, scared to even go outside. Um, she's like, get me back in my, get me back in my cell. You know, she doesn't even want to be out there. So, um, 
I like it. So, uh, and I, I do like too how Lydia is just like this. This place is gonna fall like every other place. And if you read the Whisper War and what happens, uh, you know, with the hilltop and the Whisper War, it's like, oh my God, she's about to be so right. <laughs> like seriously, that it probably will fall. You know, so um, mainly the hilltop. But I, it, it, yeah, if you read the comics, you, you understand. If you read the Whisper War, you, you understand what I'm talking about more so. So, uh, really, really cool stuff. I'm gonna be back with my predictions video really, really soon for episode 11. Uh, that's pretty much it for the episode. I'm gonna give this one an 8.2, I think. Uh, it was good. It was a good episode. You know, Alpha, the introduction to her character, and yeah, I, I'm really liking what they're doing uh, in this uh, in this episode, just the route they're they're taking the show. So, awesome job, Angela Kang. Cannot wait for episode 11, and uh, yeah, guys, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.